Hi there. So I've been asked to show how to change the rope on a gong. Really, really simple. So I've got this gong here and I like the length that it is. So I'm going to cut the rope the same size, but I'm going to give about that much more on each end for tying my new knot. So I'm going to take this off and what I'm replacing it with is rock climbers rope. Uh, you can get it at Mac, at any outdoor climbing place, and you can pick whatever color you like because they've got so many different colors. So I'm here and I'm going to add about one, two, so perfect. I'm going to go here. Now with the rock climbing rope, it's going to fray. So I'm not going to burn off. You know what? Let's do it. Let's try it right now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this side because it started to fray already. And then I'm just going to take a lighter and hold this over, rotate it so all the pieces get melt because it's melted, I should say, because this is um, a type of plastic. There we go. One, two, and done. Simple as that, so now my rope will not fray. Now, on this gong, I'm gonna come through the back. Make sure, ha, make sure it's melted all the way. And uh, maybe this is a bit too thick because the melting part doesn't wanna go through. There we go, got it through. And this one. Just these holes are tiny. I could have used actually a thinner rope if I wanted to, but it's just that melted hard core that was hard to get through. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to make my strings equal length. Perfect. So now this is a knot I picked up off the internet, which I really like to use. And I'm just doing, let me sit this way. Here we go. I'm gonna go right over left and then both sides tuck under. I tuck, and then this side I tuck under. Now this time, instead of going right over left, I'm gonna go left over right, tuck under, tuck under. And now when I pull, uh, about 80% of the time, it turns into this really nice looking knot. And holds straight, and this time it didn't. <laughs> so when it does that, it's like, okay, let's try that one more time. And I show you all these goofs because that's the reality. When I first did this, like what's going wrong? Okay, so let's try that again. Cross over, one side under, the other side under. Up, now this time left goes over, one under, the other under, and Ah, that time, it's just the way you pull it. Perfect. And so now I have this beautiful knot and the gong hangs gorgeous. Put it on my stand, make sure I like it. Now, if I decide, ooh, I don't like it, or you know what, one size longer than the other, I can trim it. Da -da -da. Do my flame and I just hold my gong this way so the flame is away from the gong. I really doubt that's going to hurt it, but why even bother try? And melt, just melting. Do not touch this because that's hot. And ta da! Now you can hang your gong. You've got a nice decorator rope, you got a really strong, durable rope. And uh, yeah, so that is how you change ropes on your gongs. Um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Sound Healing Instrument Shop, and check out our website too, because we have tons and tons of gongs for sale. Um, sometimes we have stuff in the shop that's not on the website, so um, always you can give a call to see if we have something that you're looking for. And on that note, that was Penny barking. I think she wants to come and play. And yeah, she loves this room. When she knows I'm in here, she's got to come in here. So anyways, yeah, have yourself a great day and have fun changing the ropes in your gongs. Bye. Oh, hello, puppy. Hello.
the puppies. Hello. Oh my gosh. So these are the puppies in case you wanted to know what they look like. This is Willow, the black one, and the brown one here is Penny. Hi, babe. How are you? Do you want to hear some music? Here, She's lying right down. Penny loves the sound of the gongs. And Willow just loves me. Yes, I love you too. Let's go. 